Good evening. Okay. So uh, last night I was at the Philippine Consulate. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we had a celebration of International Women's Day. Let me just shout. Uh, on especially the Filipino woman. Could you stand over there and tell you about that? And after that, uh, we had a meeting about our activities on the next festival, our Independence Day in June. And uh, so I haven't read this poem for quite a while. But since we are honoring international women, so I might as well read this. And it is entitled Sampagita, our national flower. And it symbolizes Filipino womanhood. And sad to say, most of our women went abroad to work as nurses, caregivers, and sometimes they were called domestic helper. Because our um, government is not efficient enough to uh, bridge the gap between the very rich and the very poor. That is one reason why I left the country, because I didn't like the way the government was run. And uh, these Filipino women, this uh, going abroad, working as caregivers, is an insult to uh, the uh, sacrifice of our ancestors. They fought. They shed their blood to get freedom from slavery. We have been under uh, colonization for almost more than 400 years from the Spanish. And uh, now, instead of being free in their own country, they become like slaves in other countries. So this is a tribute to the Filipino woman, Sampagita, the national flower of the Philippines. Sampagita. Nurtured by brown soil, tiny white stars of bloom, fondly caressed by the north wind, kissed by an eastern sun. Favorite nectar of the Asian bee, the paradise moon, lulled by the delicate fragrance of your virgin scent. The pure breezes of Manila Bay and Corregidor, undefiled by the western wind, fondly wafted its cool breath on your immaculate petals. Sampagita, the powerful waves of the Pacific Ocean, cradled ashore Spaniards and Portuguese, their feet brutally crushed the pearly sands of your island paradise. The Nara and Yakal, these are trees. Kamiya flowers, ilang ilang, hasmim, and you, Sampagita, the flower of our land, bowed to the new master from drastic persuasion and cruel lust, religion and state together wielded the tyrant's hand. Sampagita, your delicate petals crushed by this luxury loving God. The brown slave spoke his tongue, served his whims, abuses that fanned the embers of hatred soon ablaze in the heart of Filipino John of Arcs like Gabriela Sina. Four centuries of painful passion, the American savior came, his tongue now your tongue, his image filled every fiber of your being. The yellow nationalists came ashore, the Japanese. They banned English from schools, say Ohio, not good morning, mm -hmm. or magandang umaga po. Remember, your tongue now is Nipongo. Soon, your brown soil soaked the blood of Americans, Japanese, and Filipinos. Sampagita, you begged in strange avenues of the world. The foreigners gone, but our own countrymen 
drained your life sap, your delicate fragrance lost in the wilderness of Germany, Canada, United States, the Middle East, and Saipan, Singapore, Indonesia, and Hong Kong. You are a domestic helper, a nanny, a caregiver. Sampagita, daughter of heroes and martyrs, tender, patient, strong. <coughs> move on, move on. Uphold Filipino womanhood in every continent where your fragrance blends with a foreign breeze. Long live Sampagita, sturdy flower of our native land. Thank you. Wow.